Hello and welcome to What's New Saturday on Monday. Weird, yeah. Um, had a busy weekend. Uh, did some Friday. Can't remember Friday, Saturday. Um, cleaned all day. Had had game night, of course. Played D and D for the first time. It was awesome. Even with Brian as our dungeon master. Uh, Sunday went to the flea market. Came home. Had Brian here, so we kind of just chilled and played some games. And then we went over to Brian's SummerSlam party and watched that and didn't get home till midnight, so I just didn't really have time. Not a lot this week. Uh, a lot of it's my wife's stuff. And now that I'm sitting here, I realize I forgot to bring up my comics, but if you watch this week's podcast, um, the five comics I did read were the only ones I got. So, you know, if you watch that, you're up to snuff. If not, then, um, is that the term? Up to snuff. If not, I apologize, and uh, you can make fun of me for that. Pretty much got everything here on Sunday at the flea market, and then after, well, no. No, okay, hold on. I got some stuff beginning of the week, wife got some stuff beginning of the week, then I got Sunday, and with which you got Saturday. So we'll go like that. So, uh, at the beginning of the week, I went and picked up WWE 2K16 at um, the expensive game store. It was 12 bucks. That's about what it goes for. No, didn't really make a killing on or anything, but um, played this. There's some videos coming up of this, so look forward to that. And by coming up, I mean like probably in a month, but still. Um... But really enjoyed this. This is probably at the at the time when I got this early in the week. This was the newest wrestling game I ever played, so I was pretty um, pretty thrilled with it. For somebody who's been playing old N64 ones and PS1 games, and then going to this, it's like wow, what happened? But definitely enjoying that. Um, I think I need like three more of the 2K 2K ones, or just the WWE number ones. I'm not sure. I gotta update my list now, since I've been slacking. Um, then the wife got these when we came back um, Tuesday, I think. She got them from eBay. I think she paid six bucks for all these, but she got Dean Koontz's Frankenstein, Prodigal Son, um, Dean Koontz's Frankenstein, City of the Night, Dean Koontz Frankenstein, Dead and Alive. This is a book three. Dean Koontz Frankenstein, Lost Souls, book four. And Dean Koontz Frankenstein, The Dead Town. Uh, book five, this is the final one. Uh, she's looking at these at half price books and. I think it was like three dollars a piece for all of them, and then she found a lot on eBay for six bucks. So I was like, "Hey, hell yeah!" See, my wife, my wife is th is thrifty like me too. Oh God, I got th I messed up the order of these. It'll bug me if I don't change it. I'm sorry. Okay. And then Friday, um, we went. We picked up Brian, um, because he offered to clean my house for beer. Help clean my house. I didn't. I, I don't just sit around and drink beer while he cleans my house. He he helps me, and I help him. But um, anyway, when we went out to pick him up, we stopped at Walmart, and she picked up these. Um, this is Sasserina GX box. I don't know how to say her name. Sar Serena. So it's like like Tsar. Like a Russian Tsar Serena. Serena GX. I need to get some of these new new card sets. Um, this Burning Shadow. She picked up I don't know, six packs of these. The Burning Shadow set that just came out. Uh, I got her a box for her, her birthday. And then she got herself a box as well. Um, I haven't gotten to open a pack of these yet. So maybe I'll buy some this weekend. See what I get. She gives me all her trainers from the box. So she doesn't really care about them. So... I have all the trainers from the set in mass because, you know, two boxes and 
packs and um uh oh, what are this box called to come with the card sleeves and stuff I can't remember but the, you know the elite trainer box yeah she, she got that it's Nezrocon or whatever his name is and new Lego sets are out uh she picked this one up it's just a cheap little one I like it I believe this is the only Aquaman out right now that you can get from the Justice League movie but this is the Battle of Atlantis. It's just a fun little set. Nothing nothing crazy. With the uh, parademons from Apocalypse. Uh, I believe the bad guy in this movie is Steppenwolf. So, and I think he's Apocalypse's brother, maybe? Or something? I don't know. It's a fun little set. I'm sure we'll probably get the rest of the Justice League sets here soon. We need to finish getting her... The Lego Batman ones. Uh, I think we need Bane's truck, Two Face. This is um. I think it's a. I don't know what it is. I can't think of it right now. Um, we need the Batwing. I feel like there's one other big one that we need. I don't know. Hopefully that might be just a three, and that that'd be pretty good. That's not bad. Something I can remember. Could I remember for anniversary presents? So she got those. Uh, Saturday we didn't leave the house. I don't think. And then Sunday went to the flea market. I was really, really trying to spend money, and it just wasn't happening. Um, let's see. I'll break these up by groups. I think of where I got them. Sorry, I should have did this prior, but I wasn't thinking. Okay. Um, walk through, didn't really see anything. Uh, I got this one guy. He wanted $2 a piece for his games, and he had... This is WWE Crush Hour. It is the WWE... Is it WWE? Yeah, it's WWE, so it's pretty new. It's a WWE... Vehicle combat game, so like think Twisted Metal, but with WWE stars and their own like themed cars. Uh, I needed this to complete my licensed wrestling game list, I guess. Mostly WWE, WWC stuff. Um, that kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure there's some like obscure third party things like Fire Pro Wrestling on SNES and stuff that I don't have, but just the WWE stuff. So I needed this. Uh, Pick this up for two bucks. Since I was already breaking my 20, I bought some other games off him. Yeah, there he had Red Faction 2 for PS2. Uh, no case, but... You know, why, once you start spending money, if the, if you... If you're willing to break a 20 over a 2 hour game, try to pick up whatever else you can there. That's usually my motto. Uh, Virtue Fighter 4 Evolution. I might have this. I think I just have Virtue Fighter 4. I don't know if I have Evolution. I think that's a different one, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. I'd, I'll, I'd honestly have to look. These are kind of sun damage too, which kind of sucks. And Seek and Destroy. Some sort of tank game, but Takara. Takara. It looks pretty bad. Yeah, it lo that looks pretty bad in the back, but I've never seen it before. I don't know if you can see that or even care, because I barely care about this, but I've never seen it before, so I picked it up. I like picking up games that you just don't see. Like, I know there's probably like 1,300 PS2 games, but you see the same ones over and over. You see GTA, um, Vice City, San Andreas, maybe three once in a while. You see, I don't know, uh, some of the Mortal Kombat. You see them pretty often. Sports games... Of course, other big hitters on PS2 I can't think of right now. Ooh, lost that train of thought pretty fast, didn't I? Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, Need for Speed, that's a big one. You always see Need for Speed Underground. At least the first one, always. Okay, so then I spotted this game at the one guy's booth. He wanted more than I wanted to pay for some of these games. He had some shitty sports games um he had nfl blitz pro he went a five bucks for it I'm like that's too much um just to play in sports smarts 
I figured that was a little too much to pay for. When I still have a bunch we can play, so it's not a big deal. And I went down two tables later, and I saw a guy, he had NFL Blitz Pro, the same game I just looked at. He didn't have prices on his game, so I walked away, because if you don't have prices on your games, I usually don't care to come back. But again, I was trying to spend money, so I went back and asked him, and he said, a uh, dollar a piece on the games. So I picked up NFL Blitz Pro. I believe I picked out seven of these, and he said, five bucks for them. So I got these for less than a dollar. Um, NFL Blitz Pro. He had two dollars on him, even, and he, he gave me for less than a dollar. What a madman. What a madman. He just wanted them gone. Not sure where this one takes place. Um, we recently just played Blitz the League. This is 2003. I don't know when Blitz the League came out. Hmm. I have to look it up because I'm not sure if this is after the League or bef at before the League. I want to say this is after because this is online. I don't think the League had online. And this is rated E? I swear to you. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get to that. Ooh, I'll save the best for last. Picked up um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and PS3. I did have this game. I lent it to my ex-girlfriend and never saw it again. And that was 14 years ago. So, for a dollar, I'll get it back. Um, this, this is probably... I don't like... I never... I take that back. I, I never play Call of Duty campaigns. I did play 4 and I kind of enjoyed it. So, I'll get another shot. It's Like I said, it's been... Forever. When did this even come out? 2007. Okay, maybe it wasn't 14 years. That's a lie. It was 10 years. 10 years ago. Wow. So, got that. And, like I said, I just grabbed whatever this guy had for a dollar. I think I left behind two things because I just didn't even care. Um, we got Major League Baseball 2K5. <laughs> Sad that I'm checking if the discs are in them now after I've bought them and had them for two days. Um,. This case is pretty gross, too. I don't know what this guy did with these games. Well, I've never heard of... I don't know. I, I've heard of the 2K series, but... I don't know, maybe... I don't know. Just just seems weird to me. Um, Brian told me that... I've probably played this before, but I don't think I have. I don't know. And then this one... I've never, I've never even heard of this series. Um... What is that? What is happening? Why is there a weird thing on this disc? What is this? Okay, so this disc has like a weird thing on it. What is this? It like comes off? It's like a weird orange ring. I mean, it's not like attached to it. Maybe it's like protected? I would not put this in my PlayStation like this. That's crazy talk. I don't know. That's so weird. That's going to have to come off. Uh, this is MVP Baseball 2003. Now, this is the EA, which is the only baseball around now, I believe. I believe it's the only sports around. I think I don't think 2K5 makes games anymore. Or they make them sparingly. I'm not sure. Uh, big fan of rhythm games, so pick this up. It is Pump It Up Exceed on Xbox. Not a fan of Pump It Up, but around around where I live, there's no DDR cabinets. They're all Pump It Up for some reason. Probably because it's cheaper. But, so, whatever. I'll play it. Man, this is this thing is kind of gross. Like, I don't even want to touch this. There's like asbestos in here. I don't know. Uh, this is Spy Hunter. Like, this case is gross. Like, there might be, like, mold in there or something. I don't know. It doesn't smell. Whatever. That's not good. It's not a good case. But uh, I don't know what the hell this even is. I can't read the back. It's pretty, like, faded. Um, And the, the best, uh, this sold me on the whole lot. Brian was so pumped about this. Um, I'm still pumped about this. Why are these all like THQ games, too? What happened? I don't know. Uh, this is Britney's Dance Beats on PS2. This is a rhythm game of all Britney Spears songs, says Brian. He's played this, says Brian. So um, we'll talk about that another thing, the fact that Brian's played this. 
Uh, I'm excited for this. We will be playing this. This is amazing. If it's all Britney songs up to 2007, I'm in. I couldn't tell you a Britney song from 2007. I think Circus came out then. Um, Groove to Britney's hottest songs like Baby One More Time and I'm a Slave For You. And look exclusive Britney, Britney concert videos and 360 immersive videos that let you control the camera. Oh, multiplayer dance competitions. Okay, yeah, me and Brian are playing this. Actually, I should probably play this Brian because he's a professional. This, this is the find of the century. Why is she like naked on the thing? I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm very in. I'm very, very in. I've never seen this before in my life. But the fact that Brian's like, oh yeah, I play that's good game. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. So that was at the flea market. Had 20 bucks left. Just wanted to, you know, use it or lose it. No, that's not how money works. That's not how money works at all. Um, so, decided I was going to pick up the new, newest wrestling game. So I went and got WWE 2K17 to play. Um, really excited to play this. If it's better than 2K16, I'm in. And if it's that good, I'll probably buy 2K17. Maybe not release day? Unless I get that Cena Nuff edition. <laughs> um, comes with a piece of primitive ring mat from his Royal Rumble 2016 win for 16th consecutive championship. I don't know if consecutive is the word I was looking for there, but still. Um, but I will definitely pick up 18. Brock, I don't get your tattoo, nor do I care. But that's it. Uh, didn't get a lot. I apologize. Hopefully next week. Hopefully the flea market's better. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's also bill week next week. Or end of this week? Yeah. Yeah, this is bill week. So, yeah, money will be tighter than usual. But we'll get through. We'll find stuff. Always, always finding stuff. That's what I do. But thanks for watching. If you want any... If you have any suggestions for videos or anything, let me know. And I will make them so. Check out the podcast and the gaming channel. Link in the description as well as Brand's channel as well as in the description. And um, thank you and have a nice week.